Free Britney. It's a chant that has been echoed lately after news. The pop star is still the subject of a decade-long conservatorship held by her father. What the 39-year-old multi-platinum artist is going through raises really interesting questions as to what is a conservatorship and why someone would need one. We want to welcome back David Hoffman, founder of the Hoffman Law Firm. And, you know, when you think about this performer who's been around for years, successful, does she really need a conservatorship? That's a big question. That, that is absolutely the question. And, and if you ask her, uh, I believe that she thinks that she does. Uh, so we're, you know, kind of jumping into the middle of all this. So this started in about 2008, uh, this, this need for a conservator, uh, if you'll recall, that was, there was a time and I, I, you know, again, I'm not much of a gossip, right? I can't stand talking, but it was publicized widely about her shaving her head and, uh, driving around with her son on her lap and, and things like that, uh, that were, that's not me you know, throwing stuff out there that was actually televised. No, so, it was a fact. And she was held in a psychiatric hospital for five days. That's right. And it was during that time that her father, uh, Jamie Spears, uh, became a conservator for her estate. Uh, there was also a law firm. Uh, and I forget the guy's last name, but there was a lawyer who was also a conservator. So it was a joint conservatorship. Her dad would manage things like who she could see, who who had access to her, because there was concern at the time that there would be a lot of uh, you know people kind of like hang on to her coat strings, so to speak, sure. uh, take advantage of her when she was at, at a you know a, a station in life where she couldn't defend herself all that well. So her dad came along along with this law firm, and where the argument has kind of come recently is during that time, Brittany has gotten for the most part what people believe about to be back on her feet. Her estate has increased in value. Uh, and so that's what that's the argument that her father is, is putting forward. Look, she has thrived under this current setup. Uh, so we need to keep it in place. Uh, whereas people on the other side, are like, oh, her dad's just trying to get money. His dad, her dad's just trying to control everything. Uh, but Brittany herself uh, wants the dad, the lawyer that was doing it eventually resigned, right? So, but her dad stayed on. Uh, and what Brittany wants is she wants an organization to take over as the conservator. Um, and not, not her father. And I, I she believe wants her father I'm out. Sure that there is some strained relationship there between the two of them. But before we go on, I do want to ask you this question, David, because these two terms have been used interchangeably. And I want to know, are they the same thing or different? What's the difference between a conservatorship and a guardianship? Uh, that's a great question. A guardian is, is a parent acts as a guardian for a child. Uh, you have to be fed, clothed, uh, you know, educated. They're, they're just things that you do to guard the, the interests of a, of a child or of a, uh, you know, of a person who needs, like an elderly person. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, an elderly person can't get up and down stairs, so you might need a guardian. A conservator is if the person has been declared mentally incompetent. That's when a conservator uh, is required. But we so, don't know if she's been declared. Right. Is that correct? That's absolutely right. Okay. And, 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 and again, I would suspect, not knowing California law, but before that, that emergency protective custody for five days, my guess is that California law has something that that, that does not get invoked unless a person is mentally incompetent. Mm -hmm. But then how do you, I mean, if, if she is mentally incompetent, she's certainly highly functioning. Right. So this is a great case for analysis. This is a, this is a fun one that you've mm -hmm. dropped on me. <laughs> I what do you think about that? I mean, she's clearly highly functioning. She is. Uh, to, even, to even have a conservatorship, you have to be declared mentally incompetent. Right. She herself is asking for a conservatorship, just not her father. And, so, and help, help me to understand, though, under a conservatorship, though, it sounds like a lot of your civil liberties are taken away. Oh, yeah. Every, it, it, it's a big deal. It's not, you know, a guardianship extra. It's a whole other oh, animal. You have to account for every dime that gets spent out of that estate. And, and it's by a court. Uh, the court will be, you know, it's not just like, yeah, well, we had an expensive year. We went through a bunch. No, you've got to have your court appointed accountants if it gets too difficult. Judges look at it. You have to account for everything with receipts or wire transfers or whatever, uh, you have to account for it. And the reasonableness of fees and everything else, uh, all of that is under court scrutiny. So it no, it's a royal pain. I would never want to be a conservator. 
And she's holding over her father's head in order to release her from the conservatorship attached to him is that she will not perform. She had a Las Vegas show up through January of 2019 and has been on a hiatus ever since. Um, and a Las Vegas show that grossed a ton of money, by the way. But she will not perform until she is released. But from what I've read is that it is almost impossible to be released from a conservatorship. I want to talk about how difficult that is. We need to take a break here. So let's do that after the break, shall we? Absolutely. We're back after this. All right, David Hoffman. So we're talking about Britney Spears and her conservatorship. And she wants to remain in a conservatorship, but not under her father. I've read that it is almost impossible to be released from a conservatorship. Why is it so hard? Well, especially in this case, uh, which again is a really interesting case uh, to, to analyze. In this case, the conservatorship that was put in place in 2008 was deemed to be a permanent uh, situation. It was a permanent conservatorship. And so, and so again, we've got someone saying, I think I need a conservator. I just don't want it to be my dad. And then you've got the economic argument from the dad. Well, look, her, I, we, I kept my daughter out of ruin. I, I grew her estate exponentially during this time. Uh, you know, what the court does with this, I, I will be very interested to see. And, uh, you know, and, and it's become political. And, and then you've got this movement, the Free Britney movement. And, but meanwhile, you've, you've got her saying, I need a conservator. And, and let me just digress for a second. You have to be declared mentally incompetent to, to even qualify for a conservatorship. Th that prevents people from you know, showing up at their mother's door saying, I'm now your, your you know, I, I control everything now because I went to this lawyer and got it done. You have to have a, you have to have a doctor uh, declare it. You have to have a court order it. Uh, this is not an easy thing to even put into place. And so, and so if she's to get out of a conservatorship, which of course is not what she wants, she wants to stay in a conservatorship, uh, you would have to have a doctor declare her competent to make the decision who she wants to be her conservatorship. So doesn't that beg the question, how competent is she really uh, to make even make that decision? It, it's, to me, it's a medical issue. It definitely is. It definitely is. And I want you to dispel the myth that being a conservator is some kind of money making scheme because not only is a conservatorship extremely expensive to maintain, and particularly for someone who is worth so much money, but it, ta it takes a lot of effort to maintain. Can you talk a little bit about what Jamie Spears is actually getting out of being the conservator of her estate? Of, of this, his daughter. This is based on what I've what I've been able to find. Uh, it costs about a million dollars a year to to manage her sixty plus million dollar empire, uh, and that may be. And I could be wrong. It could have been over the last. That that's how much it has cost uh, to run it. That might not be annual, but but my understanding is that uh, Jamie Spears has only been paid about one hundred and twenty something thousand dollars. So, so uh, yeah, but, but, but the idea that he's, you know, lying on a, on a big waterbed with rose petals with hundred dollar bills falling from the sky, the yeah. court would, would become aware of that. And, and you, the court would shut that down. So, so yeah, it's just not, it's just not that easy. So let's say that the judge does not grant her a change in conservator. What happens when her father inevitably passes away or becomes incapacitated himself? The court would order a replacement. Okay. So now, one thing point, though, I, where yeah. my mind just went actually with your, with your last question is, you know, what if a, if I were the lawyer, I would probably consider keeping her father on is going to damage her mental state more, mm -hmm. maybe something along those lines. Maybe that argument would fly. Very you know? interesting. It's such a fascinating topic, David, and I, we could go on forever, but uh, we've uh, come to the end, unfortunately. We're going to have to wait until next week to day. talk again. My <laughs> least no, favorite really part of the day. What happens. I'm sorry? I said this is my least favorite part of the day when we come to the end. <laughs> I know. Mine too. Mine too. Well, thank you so much for joining us, and we'll see you again next week. All right. Great. We're back in two minutes.